Hi, I'm Catherine Callwood. This is The Deep and the Dark, a St. Thomas night dive adventure. Welcome to the Senora Cartanza that lies in three huge pieces on the bottom of Shipwreck Cove, Buck Island. Join me as we explore the nightlife in the depths of the sea off the coast of the island of St. Thomas, Virgin Islands. In the decades since the Cartanza descended to its watery resting place, brightly colored corals and sponges have taken hold of its bulkheads, creating a tremendous habitat for underwater life. Wrecks like these give night shelter and protection for some while creating a rich and diverse hunting ground for others. The sheer number of different fish species taking shelter together in the smallest of spaces on and around this wreck is astonishing. Some look to the reef for protection, while others, like this spotted moray eel, have evolved with something different in mind, hunting. But maybe not right this second. This juvenile is small, about the size of a pinky finger, and is sheltering with an endangered staghorn coral. There is a disturbance. It's another spotted moray this one at least a yard long and he's hungry. All around, every creature ducks for cover as the eel charges down the Cartanza's bulkhead before disappearing into a dark crevice. Among the retreating creatures is the beaded sea cucumber. Growing up to lengths of three feet, they usually prefer to only leave the shelter of the reef at night. This one appears to be too big for its own front door. No problem, the sea cucumber simply regurgitates its latest meal and easily slips through the narrow space. The beaded sea cucumber extends a bushy ring of tentacles from its mouth that it uses to grab nutrients from the sand and water. When slithering upon the bottom, it pulls things like sand, algae and small clams into its body, gobbling up anything mouth size that gets in the way. A red band parrotfish nestles in a branching vase sponge for the night. The wide range of colors on its mottled skin accompanied by pointed fins blend perfectly with the sponges and corals.
A juvenile shrimp wanders too close to this yellow line arrow crab and is quickly snatched up. Treats like this don't happen very often for the crab, who is found foraging in the dark waters. These are very delicate creatures with a leg span about that of a human hand. It performs a kind of janitorial service for the reef, gobbling up organic matter that settles to the bottom during the day. A Spanish lobster, more commonly called the shovel-nosed lobster, is rarely seen during the day and little is known about its activities and behaviors. But we do know it is another forager, seen here brazenly searching through the reef for nourishment. Towards the middle section and engine room of the Cartanza, the long-spined sea urchins have begun their nightly feeding migration out into the open. The wreck walls and decks are now dotted with the spiky critters. Their spines are hollowed out with a venom that can leave a nasty sting strong enough to dissuade any predators looking for an easy meal. Out of the darkness they appear, gentle giants rising silently from the deep. One by one, the green sea turtles pass into view, then fade again into the mysterious black. In the waters of Buck Island, this turtle has been using these reefs and shipwrecks as a shield against enemies. For more than 150 million years, her kind has roamed the Earth's oceans and seas. Today, however, she and many others just like her have become an endangered species. Here in the islands, turtles are protected by law from hunters. While this protection greatly improves their chance at life, a simple, thoughtless act of littering can reduce the green sea turtle population at an alarming rate. 
As the oceans become more and more polluted, it becomes clear that nothing in her vast history has prepared her to fight off the onslaught of man. This leaves some to estimate that the green sea turtle will be extinct within mere decades. Properly disposing of trash can make a big difference in creating a safer ocean for the turtles. Together, we can make certain these marvels of nature never disappear from our shores.